Hello everyone, I'm looking in the sun, I'm gonna look squinty-eyed. Um, I am here in the Carapas Beach. I showed it to you before, but this time what's happened, I'm a little more intelligent about what to do, that they said if I go down this road over here, you see that dirt with a, uh, at the end of the mountainside, that's a little dirt road right there. And if I go down that dirt road, I'm to be able to find a um, nice view that this one is okay, but it's not the best view around. And from the map, what I had read is that there's actually a harbor. I don't know if this little dirt road takes me around to the harbor, but I met a man here and he has a little motorcycle and he said he's going to be back in five minutes. That he has one helmet and he's going to get me another helmet. And I explained to him I'm a pastor, so he wants to. It's Sunday and he loves Jesus. He wants to go ahead and show me this other spectacular view and so he spoke to me because I told him I have little Greek and he does very little English but with sign language we discussed about going and him coming back in five minutes and showing me this other place now if you look here this water it's like Hawaii or something this beautiful place now what I've been told is that it's real good for the snorkeling the scuba diving over in this area and it's off season right now so they don't have a lot of things that are advertising and promoting for it but um, maybe I might go do some snorkeling uh, scuba diving I've never been scuba diving but they have in these places where you can go through a four, five, six, nine hour class and get certified and then go do your scuba diving right away, quick courses. And uh, when I was at Great Barrier Reef, I forfeited the opportunity. And uh, here I may go ahead and do it. But you look and you see, there's the green and the blue green and it goes out to the dark sea blue. And here, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I see it. It's like a little zigzag of a white. If that's a coral reef or something that's causing that little line, you know, when the waves come in and it causes a little tide thing, just like you just saw that white, you know, uh, breaker along the rock, that sometimes when you look at these patches, there's the little patches for fungus and algae and all that, but it also has for the coral, you know, reefs and stuff. So I don't know exactly what that is over here. Now, when I was in Crete, they were known for a lot of underground caves. And I didn't go into those, but I didn't have a complete release. Now here, there's a nice white wave coming across the ocean. It's going sideways, it's not coming inlet. So um, here, looking around and seeing what there is, that um, it's a good day, and this is a nice view, but it's not the best. Like I said, there's somebody that's told me that there's even a bigger, better view than what this is. And I showed you another one with the rocks, a little bit more deserted. That was just like for the apartments, which would be a nice place to stay in those apartments and had that view right there. But um, God's blessed me with an ocean view from the balcony, but it's not a real close up. You see the blue skyline of the water. And you can probably see with binoculars or see even at that distance if there's a bad storm coming across the ocean. But uh, you don't see as clearly as you do here. So I'm going to shut off the camera and when he returns, when he takes me to this spectacular view, I'll turn on the camera. Unless I turn it on for the ride, but I think that I'll just turn it on when I get up to the destination and have both hands to hold on to the motorcycle. So God bless you.